Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Pretty nice morning out here. We got a little breeze blowing. 78 degrees. Expecting a high of 90 today. Still, still battling the red tide. No changes in that, unfortunately. I'm down at the south end of the park. <coughs> Ooh, boy, I just got a whiff of that red tide. The water is just brown, really bad looking here. Again, same as Sunday. So sad seeing this. I'm gonna walk up the beach. See if we had any sea turtle crawls. We got any new nests. But of course the beach is just littered, littered with dead fish. All along the high tide line, all kinds of dead fish, eels. See, there's a little eel there. Absolutely sickening and heartbreaking. This red tide is really, really taking its toll on Southwest Florida. Bearing nothing now. We're just all along the high tide line here at Del Norwegans, just dead fish piled up. Seaweed, dead fish. Not as much dead seagrass down here, but a lot of dead fish. I was walking as I was walking down here this morning for some reason there are just piles of puffer fish dead puffer fish this morning on the beach I don't know what why it affected the puffer fish all of a sudden here these are puffer fish these ones on their backs here these are all puffer fish They are. There's piles of these puffer fish on the beach this morning. Piles of them. All these little fish with their bellies up. Those are puffer fish. Look at them all down there. Disgusting. The staff here, the rangers, the volunteers, are trying to clean these up. And they just can't stay on top of it. With every high tide, more of these dead fish wash up. Fish, eels, my gosh, look at them. Just kills me to see these beautiful snook up here on the beach. Look, okay, here's a dead snook up here. They're everywhere, the dead snook. Terrible. You can see our beach warning flags over here. A little bit of a breeze. Let's see which way that wind's blowing. 
kind of feels like it's blowing offshore a little bit. That's what we want is an off offshore breeze. But you see we got the green and purple flag out here this morning. The greens just means a low hazard, calm conditions, not a lot of waves. The purple, dangerous marine life. That's the red tide. That's what that purple flag is flying for. There's the code, the key down here. Always check these flags when you pull into the park. There's one right behind the ranger station when you pull in. But yeah, there's a nice little breeze just came through and it's blowing offshore. So that's a good thing. That's what we need to blow this gosh darn red tide away from us. It's all of our beautiful sea oats up there. Earlier this morning, Gosh, we had some incredible colors here. As I was getting ready to come to the beach, the sky just lit up. It was a beautiful, beautiful pink this morning. I'm sure Roy is going to tell us all about it. Well, here's something interesting in the seagrass here. I think I saw something. Let me come back over here. Here's a piece of a hatched turtle egg. Hopefully those little guys made it. There's a piece of an egg right there. That's a, an old turtle egg that hatched. See how soft they are. They're about the size of a ping pong ball. Got a leathery, soft leathery texture. Real squishy. That's what's left of one of the eggs. Nothing good to report as far as the red tide. Still wreaking havoc on our beaches here in Southwest Florida. Please, please. Let's have some intelligent comments about the red tide and the green algae. I know people have been arguing back and forth what's causing all this death and destruction here on the beaches. Feel free to make your share your comments. But this right here, all these little fish here in front of me, all these little fish here. These are puffer fish. For some reason, there's like a whole school of them dead here, washed up on the beach. These are all puffers right here. That is so sad, the little puffers. All little puffer fish. Elnor Wiggins, this is a mile, one, just one mile of beach here in Southwest Florida. You can see how many fish are piled up here. Can you imagine the numbers of dead fish on the beaches of Southwest Florida right now? People are scrambling to clean up the beaches and, and you just can't stay on top of it right now. We got this seaweed. See this seagrass that's washing up back here? It's horrible. Now somebody, I saw somebody made a comment yesterday saying that all this dead seagrass is from Lake Okeechobee, from the fresh water being dumped out of Lake Okeechobee. I'm like, fresh water? I don't think fresh water is going to kill the seagrass. I mean, then if that was the case, what about every time it rains out in the Gulf of Mexico? All the rain would kill it. There's far more rain 
pouring into the Gulf of Mexico than the water from Lake Okeechobee. So I don't think it's the fresh water that's killing that seagrass. No idea what's causing the seagrass to come up on the beach. But look at there's a dead, dead blue crab down there. Everything, everything. This red tide has no mercy on any marine life. Every species of fish we're seeing out here, every species of fish that we have off our coast we're seeing at the beach dead. There's sea turtle nest number 44. There were 58, 58 nests on the beach, 59 nests. I don't know, the other day I lost track of them. Hopefully we got some more nests. I hopefully these nesting sea turtles that come up on our beach don't get affected by this red tide. Unfortunately, there, there's big numbers of sea turtles dying right now. Manatees, dolphins. Even a giant whale shark washed up on the beaches of Sanibel, a dead whale shark. That was sad. You can find pictures of that on the internet. Just Google whale shark Sanibel Island. You'll find it. So sad. More puffer fish. Another. It's like like it just hit a whole school of puffer fish down here. All these little puffers. Those are puffers. I would love to see somebody get on here from Moat Marine or the Conservancy or Rookery Bay or the EPA. I'd love to see somebody join in this live feed and start making some comments, answering people's questions. I really, I can't see the screen that well out here. I don't see the comments. There's a lot of glare as I'm walking along and panning around and reflections. Somebody make a phone call. See if you can get some kind of authority on, you know, some of my marine biologists watching our live feed here to join in with us. That would be awesome. That would be interesting. Get them on here answering people's questions. There's another, there's a dead eel there. Starting to see more and more eels, dead eels on the beach now. It doesn't matter what size the fish are. Look at that little fish down there next. Look at the side, little tiny bait fish, little pinfish. See them down there next to the puffer fish? Ugh. Horrible. Now the county, Collier County and the city of Naples, they have big trackers, big machines to rake the beaches. I'm pretty sure it's a never ending task right now. But the state, they just don't have the funding for that kind of equipment. So they got to come out here by hand, pick up all these dead fish, and put them in big buckets, big five gallon buckets. Then they dig big holes back up in the dunes and bury the dead fish. At least the dead fish don't go to waste. You know, they feed the sea oats. We need those sea oats back there, so. By burying the fish back there, actually it's helping the, the soil. 
but it's just a ton of work and they need some help. If anybody wants to help volunteer picking up these dead fish, please call the park, call the ranger station, let them know you want to help clean our beach up. We can use all the help we can get down here. There is a huge bone from something. I don't know what that's from, but that is a big bone. Man, I don't know what that's from. Wow. As you can see, I'll walk over to the water. Doesn't look very pleasant over here. Not very pretty this morning. Is that red tide? Is that red algae in the water? What is it? I don't know. I am not an expert and I am not gonna say just because the water is brown like that, that that's red tide in the water. Ooh, it definitely smells like it though. Wow, every once in a while you get a good whiff of it. That stinks. Boy, imagine that, I'm by myself out here, imagine. Nobody out here enjoying the beach. Hey, here's a sea turtle crawl. Hopefully I don't find a dead sea turtle up on the beach here. Here's a fresh set of crawl tracks. Well, that's a nice sign. Looks like a good dig too up, up the way there. Wow, love it. I gotta take a picture of that, don't go away. All right, let's take a look up here. This is the return, looks like, no, this is the tracks coming out of the water here. You can see how her hind flippers pushed the sand back as she came up. This is the return the crawl out of the water up to the potential nest the potential nest site don't know for sure the rangers will have to check that out uh, hard to say here we'll know when we come back down the beach this morning if there is a nest here i don't know about this one i'm not an expert so doesn't look doesn't look like it, but it could be. Could be a nest right over in here. The rangers will definitely check that out. I do see that little squiggly line in the tracks going back to the beach down the center. So maybe she did drop some eggs in there. These are the return tracks here. They're still coming. They're still coming to the beach, thank goodness. But over here, that's the tracks, that's the crawl, the loggerhead sea turtles, that's what we have here. Those are the tracks coming out of the water, up to maybe a nest up there, who knows? And then back down is where she returns, back to the water. Hopefully she's okay. Hopefully she's safe and sound. One of our park rangers heading out this morning to check the beach, see what else is happening. Oh, it's sad to see these big red drum on the beach. There's a big fish down here. 
like I said, this red tide is not sparing anything. Big red drum. That's probably an 18 inch fish there. Horrible. It's terrible seeing all this, these dead fish and the seagrass up on the beach. And the water. Oh, just look at the color of the water. Remember what it looked like a month ago? It was beautiful out here. Go back, go through and look at my videos. Look at the difference. It's so sad. seen a lot of puffers I saw we saw a lot of dead puffer fish down in area one not so bad now still still lots of dead fish don't get me wrong the tides going out right now so every time the tide comes in it brings more dead fish in Oh, here's a bunch of puffers. It's like it hits the puffers in schools. Here's another little school of dead puffer fish. Not as many as down the south end, but here's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen little dead puffers down here. Sad. And look at this. As I pan up here, as I tilt up. See all the fish there? Fish and seagrass. Then we got this damn barge out here still. Wish that thing would go away. Just never ends here. Gotta be really careful walking on the beach now that as these fish are starting to rot. You don't want to step on any of the bones. You get them stuck in the bottom of your foot, especially the catfish. Look at another little pile. Just, these are all little puffer fish. What's the deal with the puffer fish? Some puffers and eel. Sad, sad, a dead horseshoe crab. We've seen a lot of dead horseshoe crabs on the beach. More horseshoe crabs. Nothing has been spared from this red tide. Such neat animals too, these little horseshoe crabs. You know, it's really bad as these poor little sea turtles, if any of them hatch, they got to go out and deal with this red tide. Ugh, can you imagine? They say one in a thousand of these little sea turtles survives, make it to come back and nest, which is kind of neat. They come back to where they were born. So any nest you see on our beach here, the turtles that made this nest were actually hatched here. 
but they say one in a thousand survives. Look at this nest way back up in here. Nest number 58, way back up in the picnic area. That's good and high and dry, a safe place. That's a good place for the nest. Well up on the beach, so it won't be affected by any of our high tides. And yet, a nice straight, clean shot to the water for the little hatchlings. That's a smart mom here that made this nest. But these little hatchlings, I don't know. I don't think they can handle that red tide. Now, fortunately, this nest has got a probably another six weeks to go before it hatches. So hopefully the red tide will be gone by the time this one hatches. But there's others getting ready to hatch right now. I feel sorry for those little hatchlings. These are loggerhead sea turtles that come up on our beach and nest. Every once in a while, we'll get a very rare, very endangered sea turtle, the Kemp's Ridley, comes and nests on our beach here. Sadly, we found one of those dead on the beach not too long ago. I posted some pictures of that. Very sad to see that poor sea turtle on the beach. I never heard any more about it. I know they, the rangers picked up that, you know, the state, they'll collect dead sea turtles, dead dolphins, sadly, manatees, and they do an autopsy on them. Figure out what the cause of death was. I never heard anything about that sea turtle that we saw. That was early last week. You can see we got quite a few nests on the beach. Will they survive? That's the million dollar question. Everybody's praying that they do. <coughs> wow. Now, here's some good news. <coughs> I'm coughing because of that red tide, by the way. It looks like They've been able to clean up a lot of the seagrass up here in Area 2. Remember Sunday? It was just like a big mat of dead seagrass up here. Well, they've gotten most of it off the beach, it looks like. That's amazing. Hallelujah for that. Even the dead fish, it looks like they're, they've been picking up the dead fish. There's not as many here. It's just a never-ending battle, though, right now, picking up these dead fish. They can't stay on top of it. Every high tide, more dead fish wash in. Just when they get the beach halfway cleaned up, bam. More dead fish. We've got a lot of erosion here too, right in this little portion of the beach. This is the north end of Area 2 Beach, the Del Norwegians. There's the ramp at the north end of the parking lot. Great access point for people who need to... Yeah, maybe even if you're in a wheelchair, you can get out here. They have beach wheelchairs. That the, the rangers can hook you up with a beach wheelchair and get you out on the beach. Not that you just want to come right now. Another dead crab. I haven't seen a lot of dead crabs, at least on Del Norwegians. But it definitely takes its effect on the shellfish, not just fish.
fishes of all size. All size, all species. Seen lots of snook, dead snook on the beach. There's one right there. Snook are one of our prized game fish. Sucks to see them like that. I see our rangers are down the beach checking out that sea turtle crawl we saw earlier. Hopefully we have a new nest here. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. It's nest 56 up there by the trees. That is nest 30, what is that, 34, 39? I think that's nest 34 up there. I don't know how many we're at, 58, 59 nests right now. If that was a successful crawl this morning, I'll know when they number that one. I'll know for sure where we're at. This is where that darn barge was stuck on the beach for four days. Look how the beach all washed away. I don't know if it's because of that barge, the way it was sitting here. Now here's nest number 20 up here on the beach. This should be getting close to hatching time here. Darn, something was digging in here, a raccoon. You can see raccoon tracks. Trying to dig into the nest. I hope it didn't get in there. This is, I'm pretty sure, getting real close to hatching. Nest number 20. Again, whew, this red tide is not gonna make it easy on those little sea turtle hatchlings. But if you go back a couple days, check out some of my videos. You're going to see a huge difference right here in this beach, Area 3. This was covered with this seagrass. I mean, mounds of this dead seagrass. They've done a darn good job of cleaning this up. Still got a ways to go. But heck. It's a lot of work here. And they're all looking for volunteers to help clean our beaches our state parks, give them a call. Anybody that can stomach cleaning up these darn fish off the beach, we appreciate your help. A lot worse down to the south, down in area one. We're up in area three now. It was a lot, a lot worse. Ooh, here's a live little crab here. Feisty little guy. Little baby. Yeah, come on. I'm trying to get him to move. Yeah, he might be succumbing to the red tide. Very possible for that little fella is on his way out. Oh, sorry about that. He's trying to zoom in. Very good chance that that little crab is dying. Right before our eyes. Just like this eel over here. So sad. So sad to see all this dead marine life.
It definitely looks like they've been working on cleaning up the beach up here towards the north end of the park. And they can only do so much at a time. And get out here in the hot sun and the, these rotting fish, the stench is horrible. I know for fact, one of the park rangers, she just couldn't take it one day. She had to hurl. She couldn't take the stench. There's a dead, another dead snook up on the beach. It's so sad seeing these snook. Beautiful game fish, the snook. Just seeing them up here dead on the beach is heartbreaking. Well, they're spending a lot of time down there at that by that sea turtle crawl we saw, the tracks we saw this morning. Let's hope we have a new nest. We've lost quite a few of our nests because of some extreme high tides. There used to be a nest, well, there were several nests right here along the beach and the tides just came and washed them away, unfortunately. I think the older a sea turtle is, the more experience it gets and it knows to go further up in the dunes. I think the young sea turtles, this is just my little opinion. I think the younger sea turtles just come in, they feel that urge to lay the eggs and they just come up on the beach and drop their eggs as soon as they get up on the beach. Whereas I think the older females come up and nest higher up into the dunes where they're gonna be sheltered, at least stand a little chance of survival. this death here. There's a little turkey wing shell. You know, we used to, my beach walks used to be fun. We used to walk up and down the beach picking up shells. I still try to find some. There's a little turkey wing shell. Very cool shell. The turkey wings. Pretty obvious why it's called a turkey wing, huh? might get lucky as we get a little further north up here and find some nice shells. Maybe we'll see our friend Roy up here. Hey, have you all heard uh, the Naples Pier opened up yesterday? Finally, finally the Naples Pier opened up. It was damaged last September by Hurricane Irma and been closed ever since. It just reopened yesterday. I am going to take a little trip down there later this morning. I want to see two things. I want to see the pier and I want to see what the beach looks like down by the pier. <clears throat> Sad, a dead horseshoe crab, another dead horseshoe crab. Need to, I wish you could smell this right now. That definitely put it all into perspective for you. Look at this. Look at all these dead horseshoe crabs. Here's a horseshoe crab here. Horseshoe crab over here. Another dead horseshoe crab over here. I thought these things were indestructible, these horseshoe crabs, but I guess I was wrong.
terrible. Sea turtle nest 19. That's got to be getting very close to hatching. Oh, darn raccoons in here. Here, see the raccoon tracks. There's pesky raccoons. See their tracks over here? We got a lot of raccoons here at the park. That's what they put these metal cages on the turtle nest for, is to keep the raccoons out, but they're smart little, smart little devils. Sometimes they figure out they can get underneath those cages. The cages do go down into the sand, but they'll go underneath them and wreak havoc, dig into the egg chamber and take the eggs. Sad when we see that. But that nest should be getting close to hatching time, nest number 19. Again, these are loggerhead sea turtles that nest on our beach here at Del Norwegans. This is up in northern Collier County, North Naples, Florida. This is looking south down the beach here. We've just been walking along the beach looking at all the dead fish this morning. Thanks to the red tide. I hope some people are making some good comments and maybe explaining what red tide is here in the comments maybe put, putting some links up for people to read about it oh awful look at this another another big pile of little dead puffer fish these are all little puffers 90 percent of those fish right there are puffer fish look at them all all up all the way up onto the beach here these are all little puffers it is so sad they're so cool when you see them puffed up now here they are dead on the beach just schools of them we've been seeing schools of them this morning these dead puffer fish puffer fish eels you see the eels entangled in there in the mess So, so sad. How long is this red tide going to go on for? How long is it going to last? I know, that's the million dollar question. These are all puffer fish here. Look at that. Normally, I would be out here going through all of these shells here on the beach. I'm going to try to do some shelling here. It's hard. It's really hard. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say about the red tide. There's nothing I can do about it. But here's a neat little, nice little slipper shell. Very common shell, the slipper shell. These are neat. We have a lot of these on the beach. See, when you flip it over, use your imagination there. It kind of looks like a little slipper when you turn it over. The slipper shell. Very popular shell here on the beach. Very common. All different colors, too, and patterns. A little baby horseshoe crab down here. These horseshoe crabs are just amazing little animals. This is the front of it. It's got sand on it. That's his eye, one of his eyes right there. There's his other eye. This is, they move in this direction. That's its tail. So sad to see these dead on the beach. See his little feet hanging down there. Horrible. They're all over the place. There's another one just ahead of me over there. That, Right there, that dark spot right there. Another dead horseshoe crab. A 
And there is quite a big pile of shells on the beach here. Anybody that can stomach the dead fish and wants to come out and do some shelling. Man, there's a pile here. There's an old lightning whelk shell. is a big little there's a big ridge line of shells here this is uh area four the south end of area four who knows what all's buried in here gotta be some great shells buried in here just seeing some pieces of whelks now lightning whelks The big story is all these dead fish. And it's worse up to the north of us, up by Sanibel. Oh my gosh. Have you been seeing the videos coming out of Sanibel? Absolutely horrendous. Eels, eels everywhere, all over the beach, dead eels. There's another eel, see it right there. Everywhere, dead eels, look at them. Here's a pile of them right here. Eels, eels, look at them over there, eels. Ah. Oh. Boy, it sure stinks. Really, really smells terrible. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a dead sea turtle, a decomposing sea turtle. Oh my God. How sad. How sad to see that. That is a dead, decomposing sea turtle. Oh. What a terrible sight. You can see its flippers. What well, looks like its intestines. Oh, how sad. Oh. That is a terrible sight. That is a dead decomposing sea turtle folks oh i'm so sorry to show you that but that's what i'm out here for to bring you the good and the bad that is terrible that is a horrible sight that is so sad to see that she was way down there yesterday that is horrible yeah what is, is that its intestines yep. or something? Yep. Sticking out in the back? Yep. Yeah, she, uh, when she washed her in yesterday, she was like right in the waves so we couldn't get her. But. Now, good luck. Couldn't you're gonna tell. have to get a shovel. Huh? You're gonna have to get a shovel now. I have one. Ugh, for this. That is so sad. Well, like I said, I was expecting her to wash it at some time. Yeah. yeah. It's so heartbreaking seeing all this dead stuff. Yeah, but... there was a second one. This one, you know, could have been attacked and then washed Right. In. But there was another one that washed in on the north end, completely intact, nothing wrong with it. I found a Camp, a camp Ridley down there, down yeah. in Area 1 last week. Yeah. That was... Yeah, Joe told me about that one. So another one washed up the other day? Yesterday. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we buried her yesterday. Hey, was that a successful crawl down there? It was. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's there's some good news. Some good news with some how, bad. How many nests now? 59, 60? number 59. I think that's our official highest of all. Wow. Of all time. And we're still going. That's yeah. awesome. Well.
sorry you have to do that. It's all part oh. of territory. Yeah, that is terrible, folks. Was that a loggerhead? Yep. What's yeah, left? yesterday you could tell a little bit better today. Yeah. It's really, She's really deep. I wouldn't have been able to tell if I hadn't seen her yesterday. Yeah. Ugh. She smells, doesn't she? She does. And that's all that's left of her head? Just the skull? No, her head's gone. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the top of the shell. Ooh, I'm yeah. stuck on a fish. Gross. Oh. That's what that pot was. Yeah, that's what's left of her carapace. Oh, terrible. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> that is terrible. So, sadly, another sea turtle washed up on the beach yesterday to the north of us. So, that's what was left of one there. One of our loggerheads. Oh, that is terrible to see that stuff there in the morning like that. Ugh. But she's going to, that ranger's going to dig that, what's left of that turtle up. And I guess they're going to just bury it somewhere up in the dunes. We've seen a lot of dead stuff, though. There's the, another dead eel on the beach. Still feeling those horrible effects of the red tide here. Oh. Good news though, we're up to 59 nests. That is the most nests we have ever had in a nesting period. At Del Norwegian's 59. And nesting season isn't over, they're still coming, so. Some good news. Amidst all this devastation, this red tide wreaking havoc on our beaches in Southwest Florida. gonna take a walk out onto this sandbar here. The water gets pretty deep right here. See if there's anything, any signs of life out here, anything crawling around. Any sea stars maybe? Fighting conks? But I don't see anything out here. Nothing crawling around. A lot of times you come out to the outer edges of these sandbars here. You might find some sand dollars, sea stars. Nothing out here. Nothing except that blasted barge out there. Ugh. I thought these guys were gone. We're just offshore of Area 4 Beach right now, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples. Just kind of reporting on the status of the red tide. Still, are the red tide warnings in effect? It's really taking its toll on businesses around the beaches. Not just on the marine life, but also on people's livelihoods. You can see the dead fish on the beach. Far more dead fish down at the south end where we started earlier this morning. Still, there's never a good number of dead fish. Ugh, it's just terrible seeing them all on the beach like this. Fish, eels, crabs, mm, turtles. Some piles of seashells. Anybody that wants to come out and do some shelling, you got the beach to yourself. 
I'm not going to be fighting over seashells with anybody. I can pretty much guarantee that. Another dead horseshoe crab. See all the little eels? See the eels? So sad. <clears throat> Let's find some beauty out here. Let's some, find something nice out here. One really nice shell. Something to be happy about. We are happy. We got a new sea turtle nest, number 59. That's good news. And we have broke a record. That's the most nests we have had ever on this beach, 59. So that's pretty amazing. I missed all this carnage. Comes new life, hopefully. Look at these. There's horseshoe crabs just everywhere, buried in the sand. Dead horseshoe crabs. Here's a pretty good sized little eel here. Mm. So sad. Well, a couple weeks ago, I was out here picking up shells, showing everybody some really cool shells. Now I'm showing you some really cool dead fish, dead horseshoe crabs, dead eels, a dead turtle. Oh, that stunk, seeing that dead turtle. But there's a chance that turtle we saw earlier might have died from other reasons in red tide. Could have been attacked by a predator. Don't know. But they did find another loggerhead sea turtle washed up on the beach here yesterday morning up at the north end of the park dead because of the red tide. Sad, sad. You know, I, I wanna I wanna do some shelling. But it's just I'm not in the mood to do any shelling. I look down, I look down at the shells, and every time I look down at the shells, what do we see? <clears throat> Dead fish. Little baby horseshoe crab. Everywhere we look. Look at that, there's a big that's a big drum over there. Big looks like a red drum over there. That's a good sized fish. Let me just take a little walk out in this little sandbar here. Maybe we'll see something besides dead fish. Or we'll find something interesting. Little cockle shell. Nice little cockle shell. Oh, I see a big moon shell. Let's see what kind of shape that moon shell is in. It's a big one. Let's see some fighting conchs. Probably all empty shells. Yep, Florida fighting conchs. I see a little fighting conch over there. I'll pick that up. Look at this. Is this moon shell in any shape? Good shape? Yeah. Look at that. There's a nice big moon shell. The shark eye. Kind of old, but still intact. That's a nice shell right there. Look at, here's something really cool. Let me pick these up. Show you the difference two fighting conch shells. Two essentially the same species of shell fighting conchs. The one on the right 
that's the normal color. The one on the left, this sandbar that I'm standing on out here, this sandbar here, just offshore of Area 4 Beach. This is, brand, this is relatively new. This is all sand that was dredged out of Wiggins Pass, which is up to the north of me, and pumped down here. And it's made all these, they've made all these new little sandbars. You can see another one sticking up over there. I'll turn around, look to the north here. The sandbar I'm on, there's another one out there. There's all new sand that came out of Wiggins Pass. The reason I'm telling you that is because this shell on the left that was buried at the bottom of Wiggins Pass. See how gray it is? It's, it's kind of like fossilized. The normal color is on the right. Who knows how old that shell is? It was sitting on the bottom of Wiggins Pass for, could be eons, you never know. And it got pumped up here and dumped here onto the beach. So that's kind of cool. That shell could be hundreds and hundreds of years old right there or even more. The gray one, it's kind of cool. Now, I'm gonna put the old shell down. I'm gonna pick up. There's a baby fighting conch to the right. Look at the difference. Look at the difference in the colors. They get darker as they get older. But that's a little baby fighting conch. The fighting conchs are fairly common here. We do have times where you'll see hundreds or if not thousands of these on the beach with the conchs inside them. Of course, we don't take anything home from the beach that's living. But this is probably the most, one of the most collected shells in Southwest Florida, the Florida fighting conch. Beautiful shells. All right, what else did I see down here? This is a piece of a baby horse conch, a little baby horse conch. These can get 18 inches, almost two feet in size. That's just a little baby horse conch right there. And over here, just one of our many different types of beautiful scallop shells. That's a scallop. You can see by the little, it's kind of like a fan, like it has little wings down at the bottom. That's how you tell a scallop shell. We have all different types of scallops here. Sizes, colors. That's a nice little scallop right there. Let's walk around on the sandbar here. Those rangers are burying that poor dead sea turtle over there. That was pretty decomposed and ripe. They're burying a sea, a sea turtle. Red tides, what's making me cough here? Oh, see if we can find something else happy to talk about out here on the sandbar. Before we continue up the beach, find our friend Roy, say good morning to him. I believe he's up there. I believe I see him up on the, under the pine trees, our 93 year old friend Roy. Great guy. Always has something interesting to say, share with us. I'm sure he's gonna tell us how beautiful the sunrise was this morning. It was, it was a beautiful sunrise. I got here about 15 minutes too late for the sunrise. There's, there's another fighting conch all worn out. You can see inside of it. You find these fighting conchs in all conditions here on the beach. There's another fighting conch over here. This one's a lot lighter color than that other one we were sh I was showing you. Look at the colors on that one. Beautiful shells. 
Absolutely beautiful shells. The Florida fighting conks. Well, there's a pretty good sized piece of finger coral over here. That's a pretty big piece, good sized piece of finger coral right there. Finger coral. Anything over on this edge over here. No, I'm gonna cut back across there, up, get back up on the beach. Start walking through the dead fish again. Ugh. I'm pretty happy. I did find one shell. I'm taking one shell home in my pocket. Nice big moon shell. That's cool. Nice big moon shell. Also called a shark eye. It's a great little find this morning. Anything else down here before I move along? Nope. Nope, nothing over here. Just an old, another piece that looks like maybe an old piece of an old pear whelk. Looks like something that came up in the dredging too. Piece of an old pear whelk. Well, still dealing with the dead fish on the beach here, as you can see. Not as bad up here at the north end of the beach as they were down at the south end. But to the north of Collier County, Lee County, Sanibel Island, oh my Lord. This is nothing, these fish here, compared to what you're seeing on Sanibel. I mean, millions. I mean, millions of dead fish. This is just a little mile-long stretch of beach here at Del Norwegans Park, and we've seen our share of dead marine life here this morning, but just one mile. You know how many miles our coastline is? Multiply that, and oh, the numbers of dead fish, and, sea turtles and crabs and everything else. Ugh. Horrendous. Heartbreaking. It does not smell good out here either. Between a whiff of the red tide every once in a while, the dead fish, the decomposing fish, which they're trying to clean up, folks. You know, everybody's like, why don't they pick up the dead fish? Well, why don't you come down and help them pick up the dead fish? I mean, they, there's only a couple people working here. They can only do so much. They're doing their best to clean up the beach. Always looking for volunteers. You know, this is not good for Florida's economy, this red tide. I've been seeing a lot of eels on the beach now this morning. Just another species added to the death list there. There's a puffer fish and an eel. We've been seeing lots of dead puffers. There's more dead puffer fish over here. More dead puffers over here. We've been seeing some really nice Beautiful snook dead here on the beach. Beautiful snook. Snook are a very, very popular game fish here. Prized by many fishermen. To see them dead on the beach is just heartbreaking. Not only fish that we've been finding on the beach. We did see a poor sea turtle earlier this morning. 
Not much left of it. There's a dead coconut. <laughs> uh, every time you see something like that on the beach from a distance, you start thinking, oh my God, what washed up on the beach? Fortunately, it's just a coconut. Thankfully. <coughs> Pretty stinky here. It's a shame, you know, it's a fairly nice day here, but this place is empty. Not a soul out here on this beach. Only the part, I take that back. I see somebody walking way down at the south end. It's me, Roy, one person, and the park rangers. The park rangers doing their thing, trying to clean up the beach. God bless them. another little sandbar we can walk out onto take a look see what we find out there it's an old turkey wing shell down here old turkey wing what is this piece of a shell that's an old look at that how pitted and worn that is that's a piece of an old clam shell almost looks like a piece of coral doesn't it wow Lots and lots of oyster shells watch up on the beach. Here's a little oyster shell here. Some of them are pretty neat looking, actually, the oyster shells. a lot of shells down the south end of area four on the beach I mean there was piles of shells and if anybody has got the stomach to come out here and that wants to do some shelling there's probably some really nice shells down there but you got to deal with all the dead fish you can see them there just glistening in the sunlight horrible sight isn't that horrible Sheep's head and drum. These are all fish that our fishermen would normally be up at the pass fishing for, fighting over. Here they are, just thousands of them washed up dead on the beach. They will be recycled. The rangers, volunteers will be out here. They'll pick up these dead fish, they'll bury them. They'll dig big pits up in the trees and bury these all these dead fish. So they do get recycled back into nature. I actually have heard ads, I've heard ads on the radio that some company is actually making a fertilizer with these fish. Obviously, I don't think you want to use it on any vegetable gardens or anything, but, you know, for plants and yards, grass, it's a good idea to recycle these darn dead fish. The county has big machines that rake the beach and scoop up the dead fish and the seagrass. The state can't afford all those fancy toys. So you gotta do it by hand here. Later today, I'm going to run down to the Naples Pier. Have you heard? The Naples Pier has reopened, finally. After Hurricane Irma, back in last September, it has finally reopened. There's a big dead eel. 
dead eel, a dead crab over here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It stinks. Stink aroma. Woo! What's out on this sandbar besides a couple dead fish? Been a while since we found a sea star. Terrible, terrible, terrible sight. A fighting conch buried in the sand. I'd love to find a live one. Nothing in this one. Another empty fighting conch shell. A Florida fighting conch. Nice looking shell right there. There's another one right down here. See it? Just barely sticking out of the sand down here. That's a good size one there. Just offshore of Area 4 now at Del Norwegans. Out on the sandbar. Up in North Naples, Florida. Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Unfortunately, we're dealing with the effects of red tide. I think they're pulling that darn pipe out of the water here that they were using for the dredging. Looks like they're way out there. I don't know if you can, you can see the pipe. There's a pipe from that barge there on the left, and it goes all, all the way down, way down to Wiggins Pass. I don't know if you can see the pipe kind of on the horizon there. It goes down to that barge down there. It goes past that barge, way up to where you can see there's a green, uh, orange marker. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. I think they're remo finally removing the pipe. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They were pumping sand from way up at the north end of the park there, Wiggins Pass, pumping it down here. That's where all the sand that I'm standing on came from. It came from Wiggins Pass. They pumped it down here. Made a huge sandbar. Look at it. Huge sandbar. Roy up there under the tree. We'll go over there and say good morning. There's another one of these really old fighting conks that got probably sucked up with the dredging pumped out here from Wiggins Pass. That's a really old shell right there. Very, very old shell. Can't get over how big this sandbar is. It's enormous. <laughs> this is all new where I'm walking. You can see another one just up there, another new sandbar. I 
Wow. The other day when we were out here, there were a lot of birds, a lot of terns and gulls sitting out here. I don't see any birds out here this morning. Maybe they've moved on to some cleaner waters, some better fishing. Anything in this conch shell? Nope. Another, another empty Florida fighting conch. I'd love to find a live one. I'd just like to know there's some life out here. I would like to see some life. All empty shells. Looking to the south. See those big condos way, way down there? They're about halfway between us and the Naples Pier. Naples Pier is about that far south, again, from where those condos are. That's Park Shore, Vanderbilt and Park Shore. Back to the beach. Back to the beach and our dead fish. And go a little further north. Still hoping maybe to find some interesting seashells, but it's not looking too promising. Not many shells along the beach right here. There's Roy sitting up there. What's up, Roy? Hey, Rob, how are you doing? Oh, doing good. How are you doing? Never better. Never better? All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. You gonna be here? Yeah. All right. Nice. I'll be back. I'm watching the show of the barges. And the, the barge show, yeah, on the pipe. <laughs> Yeah, just I'm just amazed this morning. We have just seen no lots of there's another. We've seen lots of these dead puffer fish all over the beach this morning. Nope. Well, there's one down there. There's one down there. I'll be back. I'll... Roy's telling me about the dead turtle yesterday. Oh, yeah? Oh. Roy's got a lot to talk about, I think. But there's these dead fish. Oh. Dead horseshoe crabs, more dead fish.
Look at all these horseshoe crabs. Can't stand it. Everywhere we look, there's another horseshoe crab up there. Eels, fish, horseshoe crabs. There's an eel. See the eel right there? Dead eel. This red tide is being relentless on what it kills. We've seen a lot of dead snook on the beach too, and that's sad to see. A snooker. Awesome fish. The drum, the sheep's head. There's a puffer all puffed up. There's a puffer fish all puffed up. See him? So sad seeing these guys dead on the beach. More horseshoe crabs. Nobody knows when this red tide is going to go away. Coming up on a week now that it's been here at Del Norwegian. And all these fish you're seeing, this is nothing compared to what's to the north of us up by Sanibel. This is nothing, these dead fish here. It's probably a hundred times worse up on Sanibel. Sad thought, isn't it? Well, the only good news we got this morning is we got one new sea turtle nest on the beach. And that's number 59. We broke a record. That's the most sea turtle nests we've had on this beach since they've been keeping records on this mile stretch, 59. So that's good news. <coughs> Whoa! Red tide is strong here. I was going to show you something here. See, you can see the pipe. They are definitely pulling the pipe out of here. They're pulling it out into the gulf, taking that pipe. That's the pipe that was pumping the sand, carrying the sand from Wiggins. Wiggins Pass up to Area 4. And you can see it moving out of here. Definitely getting it out. That is awesome. There's one of the barges out there. There's a good look at that pipe. One of the barges. So glad to be seeing this leave. Well, let's go down and chat with Roy. See what Roy's got to say. I know it was a beautiful sunrise this morning. He'll probably tell us about that. Sadly, I think we saw the big sea turtle, one of the big loggerheads on the beach dead yesterday. He'll probably tell us about that. We saw one earlier this morning in our beach walk, a dead loggerhead up on the beach decomposing. 
That was a sad sight. It's really hard to tell that it was a sea turtle. There wasn't much left of it. The rangers came out and buried it. See Jennifer Ann's birthday party we had here at the beach. She had a good time. That was fun. She got a lot of birthday wishes on Facebook. Jennifer Ann. That pipe I was showing you, that's this is some of the sand that they pumped out here. See all this sand out here? It's all new sand. It was pumped down here from Wiggins Pass through that big pipe that I showed you just a few minutes ago. This is all new sand out here. It's supposed to have some pretty heavy rain showers this afternoon. Hey, how did I see that? How on earth did I spot that? I'm walking by a little baby whelk just buried in these shells here. What are the odds of spotting that? A little baby lightning whelk. Very cool. Another little keeper. So I'm not going home with empty pockets. I usually never leave here with empty pockets. I always find something, something interesting to take home. Found a nice little moon shell earlier. That's the only other thing I got in my pocket right now. Found a pretty nice size moon shell actually. Also called a shark eye because of the dot there. They call that a shark eye. But we're still dealing with the effects of the red tide. Still, the beach is littered with dead fish. I was hoping some, some experts, some marine biologists would get on here and help everybody out with some comments and let people know what's going on with the red tide versus the blue-green algae and how one affects the other. Everybody's got their own little ideas and a lot of misconceptions of what's going on with our beaches. They will be back. This red tide will eventually go away and our waters will clear up and it'll be back to postcard weather. Picture perfect weather. Like we're love to see right now not like I said there is this beach is empty right now it's me Roy and a couple Rangers and I think there was one other person walking on the beach a very very rare sight a deserted beach look at that Now let's come up and say hey to Roy. Well, it kind of looks like we're going to get rid of the pipeline, doesn't it? Finally looks like that dredging line is out of here. Yeah, they're, they got the compressor going. It got the pipe floating up. Yeah, they're just taking it further and further away. Finally. Yeah, and they're hauling that one out. So it looks like this is the big day. And it looks like it's finally out of here. And they hauled this dredge out this morning here, the one with the backhoe on, lifted up the end of the pipe. I think they sealed it off so they could put air in it. And well, that's really good news. So that's, it's been quite interesting. Uh, they got two tugs going and I never saw that tug before, the one yeah, with all the black smoke. Yeah. That's a new one. So that's got, more of a tug than the other one. Yeah, it's well, like they both do, both do their job. So yeah. it's been quite interesting. <laughs> yep. So 
What a sunrise, huh? Oh, wasn't that glorious? Beautiful, oh, the wasn't color? it? The color, the pinks, and unbelievable, the and they reflected on the water up there. Man, something. What a scene! Oh, glorious! I wish I was up there with you this morning. I saw it when I was heading down here. And the big full moon was up in the sky, and yep. the sun was rising. It was oh, beautiful. Oh, talk this about morning. glorious! I tell you. God's nature is just unbelievably glorious. It is. Blue sky and look at those big white clouds yeah. heading up. And there was some lightning this morning way off there in the yeah, uh, been, west. In the morning we've been seeing some lightning out there too. That's always neat to watch in the morning. And it felt like I had about one drop just a few minutes ago. Really? But I don't you had a think drop of rain? Maybe it came off maybe, the trees. I think it was a bird. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> There's no rain around. It's gonna rain later. Well, maybe condensing off the tree. Boy, or did something. we get it yesterday afternoon? Oh, <laughs> I got out of the beach. I was out for my swim, uh -huh. and it was it was raining on me while I was oh swimming. Gosh. But it wasn't that bad. But I came on out. All of a sudden, that wind came up. Oh, I dashed for the car, and it came down. Kafoop. I got out just in time. <laughs> wow, you did. You did like because it came, it was a gully washer. <laughs> oh, was sure. it ever? Ha, I Man. love it. Love those rains and storms. Yeah. And love it all. So Jenny had a good time, huh? Sunday? Yeah, we had a Didn't fun birthday. Did she have a good time? Thing. Was she happy? Yeah, that was a delightful time. And then after we got home, we had another party because uh, Emily Powers came. Oh, you really? You know, the Emily? lady that has right. all the flowers and everything? Yeah. She came and she had big bags of, of gifts for, for Jenny. She came out home because she was too late to get right. here, you know. They had just gotten to town. Yeah, she was... Too late to come here, so she that came out sweet. home, and we had. Emily's another... a really sweet person. Oh, is she ever? She so we had another person. big party. She bought, her, bought know, a lot of goodies. You ever think about her last name? Powers. Powers. Yeah. And what does she do? She raises flowers. Flowers <laughs> raises flowers. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, she sure I think does. She was born to raise oh, flowers. Oh, beautiful! They've got about <laughs> 20 acres of greenhouses. Yeah. They raise flowers. You wouldn't believe they I've got seen pictures of them. She semi trucks pictures. running all over oh, the yeah. country. Yep. It's Pretty big operation. Yeah, it sure is. Emily. And she's given me a bunch of flowers. She's really sweet. Big pots. Of oh, yeah. Flowers. I guess what I got by the pool You've there in the back. Quite the little posy patch over there yeah. in the, your, <laughs> on your lanai. Yeah. Oh, she's a sweetie. She was over last night or, or Sunday night with all kind of goodies for Jenny. So we had a wonderful birthday yeah, time. It was a good time. Good food. Yeah. yeah I bet you ate all the cake. Oh, no, Jenny took that along really? home. She, she had, had some, cake had to some take cake home. left over. I figured yeah. you would have polished that one off. No. <laughs> that was the chicken. I didn't get any of the chicken. Didn't you? No, yep. was it good? Oh, yeah, there was enough here for Tom, you. Tom does a good job on that grill, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, it was delicious. So everything was just wonderful. So you say you saw the, you saw the dead turtle yesterday up there? Well, there was a big, yeah, about this big, big sea turtle. Yeah, big loggerhead. And, and he was shame. dead loggerhead. I don't know if the red tide bothers him yeah, or what. Yep, unfortunately it does affect the sea turtles. We've, there's and been a, they say a hundred, couple hundred of them have died. That's too bad. It is. But and it's not good for the little babies either when they come out, the hatchlings. Oh, that's too bad. You know, this morning it wasn't so bad. It didn't burn my eyes and I didn't cough as much. There's a few spots while I was walking along. Yeah. I get a good whiff and I cough. But... Yeah, just a couple spots. And, and you know, the, the fish don't smell as much. Maybe that big rain washes them it's down. It's real. It looks like they picked some up here because there's a lot more down at the south end. Well, they didn't get, uh, they never came here because there's the old dead fish, but they aren't yeah, quite as stinky. They keep coming up. Every time the tide comes in, more come up. But the south end's got piles What's nice is this breeze, I think, is out of the east, so that blows the stink out that way. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> what we need. It'll blow, it'll blow that algae out, too. Yeah, it wouldn't The wind keeps nice? coming from, you know, blowing offshore. That's what, yeah. we gotta, that's what we need to pray for. Now the tug came around behind that barge and is pushing the barge. Yep. Uh, they're finally getting rid of it. Maybe they're pulling they're that out. They're definitely getting rid of that barge and the, everything out here. All that oh, dredging yes, operation is on its way out. They towed the big... Dredge, way out, way down south. So that's that's they gone. They the dredge out there. Yeah, yeah. they dre they towed it way as far well, as way out there. See it, I thought it I gone. saw it out there this morning. Huh? I thought I saw it out there. No, when no, it that's came out. that way barge out. thing. But the dredge, you know, the big dredge yeah. that's got the thing on the front that uh, dredges up the. They towed that away, way as oh, far okay. as the eye could see, and it was gone down south. 
So apparently they're finally finishing up. To, to get a swim, I gotta weave around here to get out to deeper water. <laughs> it's quite a job, but I make it. <laughs> yeah. So you got any uh, words of wisdom for us this morning? Well, I hadn't thought about it, you but hadn't. I just, uh, it's so beautiful out here, I guess, to appreciate the, the wonders of nature. The wonders. The glory and the mystery of it. and The, the mystery. It sure the, is and, a mystery. And the glory. The, it's so beautiful and wonderful, and we're part of it. Yes, we are part so of it. So we got to be a, a worthwhile part, I think. I think the good Lord looks down and sees if we're, if we're worthwhile or not. If we're worthwhile, why should he keep us around? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you got to be worthwhile to, to preserve your existence here. There or, you go. Or work at it anyway. <laughs> Are you talking about each person in general or the whole human race? Well, it all combines, you know. <laughs> the whole race is composed of everybody. Yep. So, uh, you know, we do our thing nationally, too, with the government directing things and the military and the whole bit. So yep. it's quite a, quite a big organization. It and is. we're so blessed to be in this country where we have all these freedoms. You know what? And, you're right about that. People yeah. take it for granted, and yeah. they're always bashing the country. Good military and, and good police force keeping the peace. Boy, they're doing a great job, and so we can live in peaceful harmony and don't have to worry about getting assassinated. And Isn't that the truth? Yeah. We don't know how lucky we have oh, it here. Oh, we're, we're so blessed. And, and we, we most of us have nice, comfortable, uh, warm, dry homes. You know, when it rains yeah. like that, uh, you think, boy, am I lucky? I got a roof that doesn't leak, and yep. and I'm and I'm dry in this home. I mean, what a blessing! You what a blessing! Right. Yeah, yeah, and then we've got air conditioning that uh, usually works pretty darn good. And when it's this hot and humid outside, inside is really comfortable. I mean, we're so so blessed with all these all these accoutrements that make our our life very comfortable. <laughs> yeah few dead fish on the beach. Well, we can overcome that. Oh, what the heck. Yep. It's it always, all part of nature. You know, how many times have you and I been out here and walked around on all these dead fish? <laughs> this isn't the first time. Oh, we don't step on them. Yep, and this isn't going to be the last time we're going to be dealing with it. Well, that's nature's way. Things come and go. That, right. Just like us. We come, we well, go. Well, you know, <laughs> everything is it's interesting. Everything is eating on something else and getting eaten. Yep. I mean, all, exactly. Like we got germs eating on us, and and uh, you know we got things pretty well organized, so the animals don't eat on us quite so much. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We we got gunpowder; it keeps them at bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we eat them. So we eat the animals, and but but we got teeny animals we can't even see that are nibbling oh, on yeah. us. <laughs> well, that's what all this business is with this red tide. You know, that's what's killing the fish. Yeah. These little, this red algae. But it's yeah. interesting to muse about, about the whole creativity and- uh, Isn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it be fabulous to be able to chat with a creator someday? Someday you will be able to. <laughs> well, that'll be quite a, quite a delight. Hopefully later than sooner. Look forward to that. Yep. Give him a few words of advice. I'm sure he'll have a few <laughs> words of advice for you. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> oh, He's going to have some words of wisdom for you, Mr. Hussey. Well, you know, the whole thing is so interesting and delightful, and actually it's it's fun to to, to make it humorous instead of being frightened and, and uh, uh, concerned to, to see the humor in the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to lose, you know? Why well, walk around with a sour puss on your face? <laughs> <laughs> sour. In the old days, that's right. That was the old sour puss. Old sour puss. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten that <laughs> nomenclature. <laughs> Wipe that sour puss off your face. <laughs> uh, an old sour puss. Oh, well, one. laughing and smiling, I think, puts the years on your life. It does. It's good exercise for your muscles, too, your face muscles. Yeah. Smiling. <laughs> they, they've proven that. Smiling yeah. is healthy. Laughing. Oh, you can't beat life, I'll tell you. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to get shove off here, get back down, wade through the dead fish. <laughs> I start down at the very beginning now. So, so how's yeah. everything trucking along for you? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. Can't yep. beat that. Yep. Got 
some work to get done here today and they opened they reopened then you know the naples pier has been closed oh has since it since the hurricane since oh, last is that september right? it opened yesterday finally wow that's a long almost time. a year oh, yeah gosh. but it finally reopened yesterday so i might go down there and take a look at it what was it pretty well destroyed with the hurricane it got pretty beat up all the yeah the underneath of it yeah you couldn't see it from up on the pier but it yeah huh. structurally it took a beating yeah so you couldn't walk out on it huh? yep was that hurricane a year ago already yep it was like september 11th or something or 13th i don't know 12th Jeez, doesn't yeah. seem that long does it nope that we've been was... lucky so far this year Whew. yeah they've all gone nothing's come by us yet knock on wood you know you don't realize the air you don't hardly figure there's anything there but boy it's powerful stuff when it gets moving oh yeah the wind <laughs> boy a lot of strength and it in that kicks wind. up the waves that's what did the pier in was the waves pounding on it oh those waves were fantastic i got down to the beach the day after the hurricane unbelievable yeah, breakers rolling in Wow. Well, we've been out here for some pretty good ones, you and I. Haven't we, though? Remember when we were up there and the bee up north and the beach was washing away underneath us? Oh, remember yeah. when you almost went off the oh, edge up there? standing up on the cliff, yeah. Yeah, remember when you almost went off the edge? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad yeah. I was there to pull you around. Yeah, that's right, up on the cliff, yeah. <laughs> You're so oh, the stubborn. waves were beating into that. <laughs> yeah. That's right, way up the beach. Yeah. That's gone. Now that beach is all gone up there. <laughs> Sad. That's right. The cliffs aren't there much anymore. Nope. All right. I got to get moving. I'm running late. Hey, but you have a wonderful, wonderful day. You, Rob. Yeah, Roy. Always good talking to you. Yeah, I know. Wonderful talking. All of our friends here are sending their hearts, sending the love oh, to you. Bless them all. Bless yep. them all. I love them all. They're wonderful, yep. beautiful people. You need to. When Jennifer comes over, does she ever get you on the computer and show you some of these videos? Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see her party? Did yeah, you see the video yeah. for that? Yeah, yeah, that was great. You're quite you the character that? with your hat on. <laughs> yeah, it was nice of you to come and film it. Oh, that, was that was great. My pleasure. All right, you have a wonderful day, Roy. You too, Rob. Always yep. great Yep, God bless you. and tally-ho. Yeah, tally-ho and bless you. And bless all your wonderful Facebook friends. <laughs> Thank you. Our good friend, Roy. Always, always a ray of sunshine here in the morning. He makes our morning. Always has a big smile on his face. We usually find something to laugh about. Even considering the conditions out here with this red tide. Where I still got a smile on his face and he says it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. All the fish here on the beach. And yet Roy's outlook is it's glorious. God bless him, huh? We need more people like Roy in this world. Well, I'm gonna do my best to get down to the pier and get some video, maybe a little video, and show you. It's been a long time since we've seen the pier. Couldn't go out on it. Like we were saying, it's been closed since last what, September, when Hurricane Irma came through. I just saw a little worm shell here somewhere. I wanted to pick up. I know we got some new people watching that probably have never seen a worm shell. I don't know where it went. <laughs> it's right here. There it is. A little worm shell. A couple of them right here. Little worm tips. These are the just the the tips of the worm shells. They call them wormy tips, worm tips. Kind of cool. Definitely have the place to ourselves this morning. I see maybe two people way down south here on the beach. I don't blame it. And who wants to come out here with all these dead fish and the red tide? Definitely. Definitely not an ideal beach day. It's not been an ideal beach week. I don't know if there's any signs of this red tide improving, going away. Definitely don't want to 
do a lot of shelling with all the fish, dead fish there rotting away. Two things washing up on our beach. It's the fish and also this dead seagrass. Not sure what's causing the seagrass to wash up. See lots and lots of puffer fish out here on the beach, little dead puffers. There's a group of little dead puffer fish right there. Quite a few dead snook up on the beach, horseshoe crabs, crabs, blue crabs. Great weather though, <laughs> other than the stinking red tide. Nice weather out here. Look out into the Gulf. The water isn't as dirty as it was down to the south right in here. It's still not beautiful. There's some pelicans flying by. Nice little breeze coming, hitting me in the back, so that's good. That's what we want. We want that wind to come from this direction and blow all this cruddy red algae way back out into the Gulf where it came from. And I don't know if the rain affects the red algae. I would think if we had some really big rainstorms here in the Gulf, that that would help break up the red algae because it thrives in salt water, not fresh water. I think maybe the rain would help kill it. Or at least disperse it. I've seen a lot of piles of shells on the beach this morning. Just didn't do a whole lot of shelling. There's another couple little worm tips. Very common, the little worm shells. Very common. It's really neat all the comments people make. I like when people are asking questions and not making statements, talking about things they don't know what they're talking about. That's awesome to see. People wanting to learn. There's so much misinformation out on the internet now. Not just about red tide and that blue-green algae, but all kinds of different things. And People read something on the internet and they take it take it as a fact. They just assume because they see it there in print that it's a fact and it's not. There are people that actually thrive on putting missing, you know, the wrong things out there, misinforming people. They get a kick out of that. So you really got to do some research, especially on this red tide situation, the red tide and the blue-green algae. Read up on it, learn the difference between the two. Don't just read, go to one web website, go to many websites. And come to your own conclusion. There's lots of different theories about it. Here's something really cool here. It's a piece of worm rock. This stuff is really cool. 
This is a nice piece. Look at all those worm tubes. This is a really, really nice piece of worm rock here. Man, that is a great piece. Very cool looking. Lots of shells. With the dead fish scattered around. going to keep walking back to where I started from and until I get a low battery warning then we'll sign off. We do have a new new sea turtle nest on the beach this morning, nest number 59. That broke the record here. That's the most nests we have had on the beach, 59. Whew, there's a little tiny baby crab jumping up at me. I don't know if you can see him there. Where is he? The light is shining right in the in the camera. I can't see him. I don't know where he is. I don't know if you can see him. He's right down there. Little baby crab. Yeah, you can see some of the ugly color of the water there. Yeah. Not very pleasant looking. This is area four at Del Norwegans Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Walking south right now. There's a nice little baby Florida fighting conch shell. That's a beauty right there. That's a nice one. Little baby Florida fighting conch. Nice little shell. And then over here, I always like showing these off to people. I know people come and go here. There's a little slipper shell. That's a nice little slipper shell right there. You might be asking yourself, why is that called a slipper shell? Well, I'm going to show you. You flip it over. Use your imagination there. It looks like a little slipper. Can you see that? You can imagine that as a little slipper. The slipper shell. Got some nice color to it. Got to be very careful where you're walking now out on the beach because these fish are starting to rot away the ones they can't pick up they're trying to pick them up as fast as they can but you don't want to step on their bones you can see there's a dead eel right down there it's not just fish it's looking back to the north beautiful colors in the sky though not so much in the water not so beautiful in the water. The tide's still heading out here. I'm guessing when the tide turns and starts coming back in, it's probably gonna bring some more dead fish up onto the beach. 
unfortunately. Thankfully, we're not seeing any day dead shorebirds along the beach. You see them pecking at these fish, but apparently they know what to eat and what not to eat. No dead shorebirds. Thank goodness. Seeing some dead sea turtles and dolphins, that's bad enough, and manatees. little puffer fish that oops hang on sorry about that something just happened here that's my gimbal hang on I just had a little accident here with my gimbal I think the battery went dead on it that's weird I'm gonna have to slip it out of the gimbal bear with me for a second are we still here? Yep, we're still here. Sorry about that. Well, I lost my gimbal, so it's not going to be a steady camera here now. It's probably getting time to sign off anyway. I appreciate everybody tuning in and watching here. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. When you find something you like, hit the like button, hit the share button. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Hopefully you learn a little something from these beach walks. Remember, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it'd be wonderful. You can find my PayPal info in the description of this post a little later. Remember, I'll put this video on YouTube. You can watch it in a little higher quality on YouTube later today. I'll post the YouTube link on Facebook. We'll check back later for that. It's still feeling the wrath of the red tide here, unfortunately. Still dealing with dead fish washing up on the beach and other marine life. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Tuesday, wherever you might be. I know we got friends watching from all around the world. That is so cool. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.